I'm Sir Taptap, and Animal Crossing has had quite a few updates here for Pocket Camp lately, so I thought I'd do a little rundown of all of them. Um, unfortunately, despite the alleged bug fixes, um, still getting connection issues every single time I try to use the app. Uh, took five times to get in just to do this video, which I would say is about average. Takes three to five times um, when you get an error and then I get in, then it works okay for a while. And it's not because my connection is bad, because as you can see, I have full bars. I have, I'm actually in the room with my router. Uh, that's right, Parker. Um, but as you can see, they updated the uh, title screen to have snow on it. They also updated trees and everything. They've got the, we've officially got the winter snowy theme going on. Um, obviously the biggest update is the uh, whole gardening thing. I'm not a huge fan of the gardening update, honestly. Gardening is one of my favorite things in regular Animal Crossing. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't do much for me as is. Basically, flowers are just basically a currency. In this and so the whole point is to kind of grow flowers and then you make some potted plants or uh, floral bears and other floral situations uh, not really super into that um, and the the cross-pollination as far as I can tell it's just like totally random I also don't like how the interface is like totally different in here you gotta like I don't know why it's so different from the rest of the game. It's really fussy and slow, and I don't I don't like it. Um, so I don't honestly tend to do much with the flower garden, but uh, it's something. Uh, hopefully they'll update it in later updates and stuff. Um, one of the more major updates is let's see if it comes up. No, it doesn't. Uh, they majorly readjusted how. Um, conversations at the camp work out. So the way things used to be in the camp is that you'd have to tap basically all of your villagers every hour and you would get like very small rewards out of them and like very small friendship rewards. So which resulted in me doing the thing that I have done here. I just lined up a bunch of chairs so it would be easier to talk to them. Um, which results in a really boring campsite, unfortunately. Um, but now what happens is that you only talk to maybe three to five people every couple hours. And instead, the rewards are multiplied like fivefold. So you used to get uh, 100 to 500 bells previously, and now you get 500 to 2,500 bells. Um, they give up to 40 of one crafting material, plus you can get up to three different common crafting materials, plus an essence every time they give a gift to you. Um, and the friendship uh, points go from three to six now instead of one to two so much improved on that front and um, I no longer have to do this stupid you know ring around the rosy chair situation just to harvest you know the conversations or whatever it's just you know go talk to these people so that's much improved that is the reason I believe they can fix the gardening is because they did a really good job of fixing the campsite situation so Possibly the biggest thing other than the gardening is that there are seven new characters. Um, it seems like we're going to get a pretty good clip of new characters. So there's Vesta, Goose, Mitzi, June, Drake, fan favorite Marshall, and Avery. Um, let's go visit Marshall here. So there's a trick in how unlocking animals works. Whenever you unlock a new animal, um, they will actually have a guaranteed chance to visit you the next time the thing happens. So when you first open your app after this update, uh, you're going to get just normal animals you unlocked because it doesn't consider the new ones unlocked yet. But immediately after that next reset, you're going to get all new characters. So uh, watch for that because that'll make it really easy for you to uh, befriend them and bring them into your campsite easier. Also, um, these new buddies are actually of the... Rustic Persuasion. So there's a new kind of camp. There's a new amenities for the Rustic peoples. That's right, Parker. Yes. So uh, there's also a bunch of new furniture they get. What's up, Marshall? So it's really good. To, I hope they have new dialogue uh, stuff, too, because I've been getting a little tired of the current dialogue. There's basically only, like, four dialogues. Uh, like, dialogue trees for characters. Like, there's sporty... Villagers and there's not like there's sporty male villagers. There's lazy male villagers. There does not seem to be a difference 
Like, uh, and there are cool male villagers, right? But I've never really noticed a particular difference. Maybe there's three kinds of male villagers, but then with female villagers, it's just like cute villagers and not cute villagers. All of the non-cute female villagers seem to have the same dialogue trees. So hopefully they'll be expanding that up a bit. Um, so I'm just gonna befriend Marshall a little bit here. Everyone comes with new furniture, like I said. Um, so it'll be a little bit before you actually can invite them all to your camp. You also get some new leaf tickets and stuff. Uh, there's a new, whatchamacallit, stretch goal. Got some rustic essence. These guys, these guys never watch Dr. Strangelove. You never give up your essence. But yeah, there's there's another host the most thing. I guess there's gonna be thing every time. Um, oh, it's not... Okay, you gotta go up to six and seven to get leaf tickets. But yeah, 15 new leaf tickets if you host all the animals. And um, we don't have the benefit. Last time... There were new animals. We got three friendship points instead of two, and I don't think that's the case here. Let me double check that. I wasn't actually paying the most attention. Also, a nice touch is that lower level animals, they have cheaper requests. So, I've been getting a little tired of getting like three. Oh! Oh, they do have. They do give three now. Okay. I guess that's the thing. Anytime there's new animals, I guess they're gonna buff the amount of friendship points you get for doing the request. So, that's really nice. Um, unfortunately, I can't sort by what's new. Um, they really need better sorting options in this whole thing. So it's really hard to show you what all items are new. This Corinthian column. Uh, Pantheon post, excuse me. Um, seems to be new. Yeah, the, all the rustic ones are new. So there's a bunch of new stuff. There's a turkey. Um, and yeah, those are obviously tied to all the new animals. It, it wouldn't be too hard to make a list. You just kind of look at what, what their request that you don't already have, of course. So, this is a pretty good update. Um, that's right, Parker. They also added this limited on the on Shovel Strike Quarry. It doesn't really... Nothing's different about Shovel Strike Quarry. It just says limited now. Maybe they think that's going to get more people to go there and talk or in, and spend their leaf tickets. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about all the new villagers, and I guess we're going to get them at a bit of a bigger, a speedier clip. I looked it up, and, like... Oh, Parker, you muted the audio. When did you do that? Thank you. Cats are beautiful creatures. He muted the game audio. Um, crap, what was I talking about? But yeah, the, um, the updates have been good. So obviously there's been some criticism of the game and everything. And a lot of it's at least moderately valid. And um, But I think they've been doing a pretty good job of updating things. And I was... I've definitely been dropping off my playing, but uh, with new critters to befriend, I think that's one of the best things to keep me going. But um, I think adding them by like sevens instead of fours, like I did some math, I forget the exact specifics, but it was going to take like three years if they only gave us four animals every couple weeks or so, because it's like 333 animals as of New Leaf, so that's a lot. But if they give us seven at a time and we're getting them every couple weeks at this point, I think. So that's pretty cool. I will say I did play the beta and I guess that gave me some wrong impressions about like, you know, and obviously in the beta there weren't any special events or anything. So it's a more event focused game than I had initially anticipated, but that's cool. So that's pretty much all that's new. Uh, they promised some bug fixes, obviously not the data, like the connection bugs. Which are the only bugs I've really particularly noticed. But, uh, yeah. Have fun, everybody.